welcome snake park this is located in Yarusha area and this is a very good place if you are interested to see reptiles, animals this is the best place I recommend for everybody to come here even though this place is amazing there are so many places there you can ride a camel that outside there you're gonna see later and also if for the family if you have to come to the kids this is the best place to come it's not far away from Arusha town it's just about 15 minutes old 20 minutes approximately if there are not traffic jam you know <laughs> but this is place is amazing and then today I came with my client here if this is not about the client have as well what to do here is just about a family this is a place as a family can come here it's not necessary from the tourist even though from the local people is very a place for people to come here to enjoy to enjoy your time here to see to learn a lot of things about reptiles, asmos and you know we live in Africa we surrounding with snakes sometimes so it's really good knowledge to come here to know which kind of snake is poison even if you see sometime in your garden home or whatever to know at least to know which which snake you can be a stay away a little bit and this which one stay you can touch like when you see that kind of snake you can touch you can hold it no problem so welcome guys yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. I told Sos that everything is not just about me. I would like to go somewhere where I can take Saya so that way she can enjoy. And he's the one who's recommended this place. And it's beautiful. I mean, I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> and it is really good, especially if you're going to be staying here or anywhere in Africa or even in the world. There are some snakes that you should be aware of um, if they're poisonous or not, like he said. So I'm really excited to learn about all these snakes today and I'm excited for Saya to have such a good time today as well. She's the best. She's the princess. <laughs> She's the best day today. It's your day, sweetheart. I'll be your guide for taking around now. We start from here because we have a snake and a crocodile, some lizard and some small snake to hold which is harmless. There is no poison. But now we start from the python. Now this is a southern African python. With the python is the largest snake in Africa because it's grown up to five meter, five meter and a half. But all the python are non poison, it's all user muscles for killing it prey. But first, it must be to bite for support to holding it prey, then a wrap around its body and then squeezing to death. After finish to swallow it prey, to killing, sorry, it's only swallowed whole. Now, all snake never cutting or chewing it prey is only swallowing it prey. Yeah, but that one for this, we feed on a rabbit, for rabbit or for chicken, but per month, not every Raw day. Raw chicken? Once a month? Yeah, once a month, four. That's enough for him? Yeah, it's enough, because the, the snake is not eating much food. Okay. Yeah, but if sometimes eating a big prey like antelope or goat, it can stay even, even a year. Wow, just one time a year, yeah, they're good. Yeah, wow. because they have a very slow digestion system like that. Yeah, see, like that one is eating yesterday. He's by himself. They don't like to be together. No, it's some the snake are very solitary. It's not many time like to stay together. But here we have some snake we put together two or four. But this python, for that if we stay together, or sometimes one is on. Yeah, mm. doesn't matter. But in the nature, most of the snake is not live together. Is it a male or female? This is a male. A male. Yeah. The male. How do you know the difference between the male and the female? They're different in tail. The tail of the male is very short and then very thicker, but the tail of the female is very long and then very thin. Like that. that is a big difference. But it's not a, a maximum size. Because. And the venom of all spitting cobra is a cytotoxic. But the cytotoxic, this is a tactician blood cell. Now it's causing gangrene for the beating area and then it causes death, but take a, a long time because the cytotoxic is very slow in action. It causes death 24 hours or more of 24 hours. Now the victim, they've got a long time to go in the hospital to get anti venom. Yeah. But oh, that one sometimes can spit the venom for your skin. If sometimes not an open cut and a wound is not dangerous, but the venom is us, you know, sometimes cause itching a little bunch for the spitting area. So how it long be, until it kills you? It's 24 hours. 24 yeah, hours. Okay, so you got some time. If sometimes bite for inject, but sometimes spit the venom for your eye, it's cause a permanent damage for your eye if sometimes you can get any treatment like that. But mm. the first study for spitting cobra, if you spit the venom for your eyes, must be to use a large quantity of water, washing your eye, fresh milk, soft to drink, yeah, and washing your eye, and then after I finish, you go to the hospital to get more treatment. Yeah. Mm. All because it spits. Yeah, spit and then bite sometimes if you step on it. Yeah. Wow. And all this one for the small snake, we feed them once a week, every Sunday we feed them. We feed once them a rice, week. Yeah, baby chicken, guinea pig, 
Yeah, sometimes. Rabbit, but we putting a live not a little, a live oh. Oh. That is a green water snake. People mistake it's a green mamba or young green mamba because it's color. But the green water snake, this is a non poison snake, not dangerous. Yeah, it looks harmless. Yeah, but bite if sometimes try to kill. So sometimes if we disturb it, can bite. But it's not dangerous. The it's so tiny. What does it eat? Frog. Frog? Yeah, small, small frog. It's not big. Sometimes brush over. Yeah, or sometimes lizard. But many times it's like eating frog because living near water. Many times in the marsh areas. After finished eating a prey, all the snake or the green water snake is coming out of the water and leaving a green tree to become a marsh. No, it's not easy. Oh, like nah. See, See this one looks scary. But now here oh. we have another type of the spitting cobra. Now this is a black neck spitting cobra. Same like red, but the different is color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is black, and the black nipple spitting cobra is the largest spitting cobra in the world because it's grown up to two meter, two meter and a half. But oh, that one can spit the venom two meter up to five meter distance if something grown up. Two meter to five? Yeah, yeah. Five no. meter gonna be over yeah, there? It's, no, it's not more long. Yeah. Spit it? Yeah, spit it. Because sometimes it grows bigger, now it can have got more strong muscles to spit it in the farm. Mm -hmm. And all that the venom is detained if you get an eye or sometimes to bind for the So the good treatment is just to go to try to wash it yeah, with the clean water. Yeah. And it's it's good. This one I told you was not that is a snake which bites many people in Africa. Yes. You know, because it's very camouflage and it's many times it's hiding in the leaves or sometimes in the dry grass. Mm -hmm. And if sometimes for walking and then step on it, it can bite for defense. You now that one is biting many people because the puffer is slow in action. It's not it's just a slow mover snake. Because all snake in the world is very good for feeling the brush. And if sometimes for walking 20 meter, the snake feeling the brush and then running away. Now the most like uh, cobras and mamba is not a record to bite many people because they are very fast in moving very snake fast. because yeah. of the slender body. But the puffada is heavy. Now feeling vibration is try to moving but is not enough for speed. Now if you step on it, can bite. But before bite, the puffer is warning you. It must be to puff for warning. Go away for me. But if sometimes for walking in the grass or sometimes leaves, it's not easy to hear that voice. Now if you step on it, it must be to give you another warning. For bite. But it's not mean that all bite of the poison snake can be dangerous. Now. Sometimes the snake bite and then inject a mild venom, which is not easy to kill. And sometimes the snake bite without inject the venom, that is a dry bite. And if sometimes we try to kill, now the snake has become more aggressive, right? It's not uh, allowed sometimes to kill or to hunting the snake after bite you. Just leave the snake go to the hospital. Because mm -hmm. if you try to kill the snake or hunting the snake, first that is a waste of your time. And if you try to kill, now the snake bite again. Now the second bite is more dangerous than the first bite. Now it's not warning mm -hmm. again. Now it must mm -hmm. be to bite right. and inject full bite or full poison. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Oh, that I, one. <coughs> I've seen this one on Facebook. It was like in the dirt and it was like hiding inside the dirt. Yeah. And then someone stepped mm -hmm. on him and he just like, boom. Like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, that's on the puffada. I've got a longest the fangs because the that's big puffada, the fangs reaching up to three centimeters like this. Right? Teeth. Yeah, the teeth of the Disney puffada. Three centimeters. It's very long. We see that I've got most of the viper and uh, others that have got a triangular head or V shaped head because of the longest the fangs. Because mm -hmm. the fangs of the puffer is a three centimeter. Now this time is fall back. If you want to bite it, pray to close it fang and then inject the venom for it to pray. Now we call the front fang move up like that. Mm -hmm. And now this one, the puffer <coughs> is very common snake. Very common because the puffer is not like other snake. This is not uh, laying eggs. It's all live bear or it live young. Or it's all give back like that one because of environment. Because most of the snake. Is all laying eggs and is not take care of the eggs. Is all put eggs in the leaves and the egg of the snake need the rain and sun sunlight to hatch it. But the papada, most of them is live in the dry areas, no rain. Now it must be to incubate the egg inside of the stomach. And the end of the day is like give birth, but the baby come for each egg, but soft shell. Now open the egg and then they start the life that day. For the big female, can get sometimes when a hundred the baby. Yeah, for one day. Yeah, now it's very common, but it's not all survive because the small snake that have got more predators and all that one. Sometimes no food, now can die. This may, so maybe can starve out 10 or 20. Yeah, if sometimes they've got food or sometimes get a 
there are many times no predators and most of the small snake that can be active at night and during the day. But that one, the puffada is dangerous because the puffada that got a cytotoxic venom. Now the venom of this one, it same like a speeding cobra. Now the cytotoxic is a tactician blood cell. Some people lose even arm or leg or any part of the body because the cytotoxic it destroys the tissue. You have sometimes go late in the hospital, it can be and dangerous. Look, it, it's the same height. Sorry, look at the same height. This is a small one. Same height class. Three here. Mm -hmm. This is snake. Sorry, look. Right look at this. <coughs> no, this is a north end. Snake. Sprite. Snake. Wow. 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 She know not to like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> she don't see you. Who is that? Oh, 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 oh. oh goodness. Who is that? She's like, no, I don't like that. This is a northern striped belly disease. With this snake, it's not dangerous. Because I've got a mild venom. You're not taking killing mm -hmm. small prey like mouse, killing the lizard, and the small mouse. But the human being, the bite of this snake, it's all for some time headache. Lock of pain, swelling for the bitter area, but never killing a human being. Oh, this snake is harmless. You know, that one we feed on mice, small, small mice, but oh, that one we will release it alive with pain sight. We are not catching one by one and then killing them, swallow them. Yeah, the best thing is that she was born in Rock City. <laughs> Yeah. But a small snake like that one, the end of our toy can go to use to hold him and put around the neck and then take photo. If you like it, yeah, it's not dangerous. <laughs> but you see that one? Like right the door? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a rufous, big snake. Well, that one is not dangerous for you when it's harmless one. You see this? You see the mouth? They put there. You see the oh, He's gonna meet, hunt meet him. Hunting, Where right is there. he? Come on, do it for us. Do it for you too. <laughs> don't see yet. He don't see it yet. Yeah, he's not see it. Why, so oh, poor mouse. That's so sad. He doesn't know he's How long is he after here? Baby, I know. These are your last days. These are your last days. He's not cute. So he's sad. It's the circle of life. There's no one over there too hiding. You see him? See a little mouth? Right there, there you mouse? see him? Yeah. Yeah. He's hiding. He's like, nope, this sounds like a duck trap. It's over there. Mm -hmm. Another one. <laughs> Let's snake. Why are you touching this one? <laughs> so they sleep with their eyes open? Yeah, the snake never closed eye. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's not an eyelid. Oh. So how do you know it's sleeping? It's not easy to know these snakes. Uh, because, yeah, it's living with her. There's no wild snakes over there, right? No, so no that no, concern. No. Saya, back over here. Not your crocodile. <laughs> crocodile. Yeah, it's the same. It's not easy to killing a big animal because it's too small, but still bite. And the bite, it causes pain because of the big teeth, which is hooked back. It causes a big wound, big pain, but not dangerous now. But if it grown up to three meters or more, it's become dangerous for you. Yeah, but now, it's Rafiki. It's Rafiki. Yeah. They eat each other? Yeah. Oh, look. You can see the tongue. Why you think? Yeah, he's all like the behavior for the cobra eating. Now it's a food. It. That is food. Even in Asia, it's a food. Look, 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 look. He's moving. He's moving. See his tongue? I think he, he wasn't. He wasn't doing that before, so I think he sees this as food. <laughs> I'm a lot of women to eat. Okay. Well, that is a black mamba. It's the most dangerous snake in Africa. How and fast until it kills you? Yeah, it's only 15 minutes after killing. 30 minutes old cause death. That's called the most dangerous snake in Africa. Jesus. But oh, that one is the fastest moving snake in the world. It's running 20 kilometers per hour. Oh, it's very fast moving snake. Wow. And it's aggressive if sometimes you try to kill. And oh, this snake is like to stay for one place for a long time. Hiding in a, sometime in a hole or sometime in a mountain or sometime in a rock area. Now if you're passing for that area, this snake has become aggressive and it must be to attack. 
Yeah, but if sometimes he's out of territory, the first defense is all to running away, never chasing. But if you go in a territory, it must be to attacking for defense itself. Mm. And all that's one, the black mamba, the venom is neurotoxic. With the neurotoxic, this is paralyzed nervous system, especially those control breathing, don't breathing well. But inside of the neurotoxic, we have another venom which is called cardiotoxic. With the cardio, it goes straight to the heart, stop the heart. Yeah, no, that one if part a person, it calls death. Surprise? 15 minutes up to 30 minutes only. But see, the color is gray, but it's causing a black mamba because of inside the mouth. If you open the mouth, inside is ink black. It's called a black mamba, but it's black mouth mamba. But people mm -hmm. call it all oh, black mamba. And or sometimes if you say black mamba, people it's, if sometimes look like a black cobra there. It say mm -hmm. that is a black mamba. The black mamba is gray. Smile first. And a similar eye with the friends. You see, double mm. smile first. You think, you th is it a boy or girl? This is a girl. Because you think she I can smell it. us? Because <laughs> she's getting closer. I yes, think she's... Smell. And you see her as well, that one. She, she's like, who is that meal? Mm. You can see this picture kick here. How black it is. Okay. When you see the snake moving and then flip its tongue out. The snake do the tongue for smelling and tasting. See, I told you she's smelling us. Because she wasn't doing that before. When I first got here, she wasn't doing that. She was just chilling. And now she's like, ooh, I mm -hmm. smell mm -hmm. some to flesh. To get a testing. A little bit. But you see that box in there? I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. Okunda ina gome funi kwa na nani? Mimi ni madogo sana. Yaani sio makubwa kama hapa ndo ndo kwa na mimi ni makubwa na ndogo. Lakini ana mimi ni ndogo sana. Ndogo tu lakini ni strong. Motute. Investor. See she's coming, I'm telling you. Mm. She got mice in there too. Yeah, so all that has been here for seven years. But to live up to 10, 50 years old, that is a life of life. So it's almost going to die. Yeah. 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 Not in there. Yeah. See the Egyptian cobra, this is the largest true cobra in Africa. <clears throat> because it's growing up to 2 meters, 2 meters and a half. But the maximum size is a 3 meters. Now it's a very long snake. Well, that one is called Egyptian cobra, but we see this snake is all found in Tanzania, northern Tanzania. It's called the Egyptian cobra because some people say that it's a snake which killed the queen of Egypt to kill your patron. It's called Egyptian cobra, but it is very common snake in Africa. Well, that's one, the Egyptian cobra is the non spitting cobra. Now it's only bite for, de for defense and bite for inject the venom. But all that one, the venom of the Egyptian cobra and the foresty cobra and the green mamba and black mamba, it's only similar venom, neurotoxic. Now it's very, very dangerous for human beings. But not an aggressive snake, it's not aggressive. Mm. But if you try to kill or sometimes you disturb it, all that can attack for defense. But the first defense for all snake is all running away like that. So, well, that's when we feed them once a week, every Sunday. Look at this. One. But this is, yeah. Kiki, you see this one? And then this snake show now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is a tree branch. <laughs> that was a tree branch. That is another black mamba. This is a black mamba. Yeah, who could always do this tree? Mm-mm. <laughs> Sis is trying to get out. Yes. Uh, let's try to find it like. The right. Mm -hmm. yeah, but no way. And then it cause internal bleeding and then external. Now the, the victim died because to lose the blood, because mm -hmm. the blood is coming out for every open organ like mouth, mouth and yeah. eye and ear and then die for the bleeding. So it now, it's very dangerous for you. Yeah, opposite of blood clot. Yeah, that is very, very dangerous. Wow. And all that one, the hemotoxic venom, no anti-venom for that venom. How but long until it kills you? Oh, that's on the anti, the hemotoxic oh, is very yeah, slow nitrogen because uh, for for first the symptoms is all maybe you can come at eight hours, but serious symptoms is 24 hours or more of the 24 hours. No, the victim that got sometimes three days to go to the hospital, but no wow. anti-venom for that one. It must be to do the blood transfusion to change all the blood. That is all health. Wow. Yeah, no, can take that. It takes six for the day, up to seven days to become okay. No, it must be to. Remove the black and put a new black. You can go and put a new black. Now it's a black transfusion that is all help for them. High more toxic even I'm like that. Wow. But the good thing for the boom slang, that body, that is a supervision snake. Yeah, that body by no provision can see well and running away. 
and all that's on this snake live on trees and the uh, poison teeth is not from is not in a frontier like other snake like a uh, puffer or sometimes cobra and mamba they've got a back fang so the poison teeth in the back of the mouth there is must be to bite a slime especially like any other inject the venom for human being mm -mm. yeah. oh, that is a boom slime but we have another one here here we have a uh, african rock python with the african rock python for here in snake but this is a largest snake and it's live here for a long time because it's been here for 20 years old and on that one the python is all uh, live up to 45 okay. years old that is a life span but this one is been here for 20 years old now it's the largest snake we have in here and on that one they've got a four meter now now with this python now is already be dangerous for human being because they have got a four meter now the four meter it has strong muscles to killing a big animal like sometimes antelope or sometimes uh, goats even a human being but for human being that is all is very rare not many time to killing a human being because this snake is all a is ambush snake you know it must be to wait some people sleeping or sometimes hunting at night but many time for here we feed them uh, we feed this one on rabbit for rabbit or for chicken but we putting a live prey inside mm. we putting a live prey inside because the snake are poor vision now it must be to see the movement of the prey and this must be to use the tongue for smelling where you get a warm blood in and then go closer to the prey and then if the prey see the snake coming now it's try to running now mm -hmm. the snake can use that chance to catching it prey and then a wrap around its body and then it's squeezing to death after finish it's only swallowed whole see but you see the snake sometimes that got a very small mouth small body but can swallowing a big prey than its body yeah. because the jaw of all snake is dislocated and then our body is elastic, can expand while swallowing a big prey than it body. But on that one, the python many times like to stay in the water areas or near water. Even sometimes in the nature, it must be, if you see the python, it must be up somewhere, maybe in a 20 meter, they've got a, a pond or sometimes they've got river. Yeah, it's like to stay many times in the water because uh, hiding in the water is help them sometimes to cool in at poor temperature or sometimes it's very easy there to help them to hunting. You now it's all good to hi we're hiding in the water, waiting sometimes like a dig dig or sometimes antelope come to drinking water there. Now it's catching and killing and swallow all that. Mm. Yeah, that's African. My city. Let's keep another step. Yeah, that is a goat. Mm. Uh, yeah, and sometimes pulling a boat temperature, but it's not dependent on water. This one. Savannah. Yeah, look, you have Bumu. dinosaurs on your shirt, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> you got dinosaurs on your shirt. She kind of looked like she's smiling.